Hey guys, welcome to part three of the kitchen cabinet makeover. If you haven't seen the first and second videos on the kitchen cabinet makeover, make sure you go check those out. This is the last video for the kitchen cabinets, but make sure you're subscribed because we have been renovating our house for over four months and still have so many projects to do. cabinets normally look like but I actually like the back of them they look more like shaker style so I have a plan to try to see if we can just flip them instead of trying to build new doors or something we will just flip the cabinets around okay so this is our original cabinet we're gonna practice on the doors that we took off of the vent hood because if we mess those up it's not a big deal so front flip it over and so we have the holes from the hinges and I found I just got a wooden dowel that's the exact same size so it'll fit in the diameter of the circle and so I'm gonna mark and see if I can just slice a bunch of these that can fill up the majority of this hole left over from the hinges and then fill the rest with bondo and sand it to make it look super smooth. Here is a trick, instead of having to measure every piece every time, I just marked on the saw right here so I can just put the end of the piece of wood up to that point and cut a bunch of times and then that way you don't have to measure every time and it will go a lot quicker. Instead of looking like this, with this pattern, we now have more of like a, a shaker style pattern. So since we're doing that to the door, we need to do something to the drawers because this is what they looked like on the front. And so I took off the drawer fronts and I'm filling this, the holes in right here and on the back. So the back will now be the front and then I put little trim pieces like this so it will match the shaker style of the doors. And I'm just gluing those on because they're not structural or anything. They just like little trim pieces on the front. So I'm just gluing those on. I'll sand them down smooth and then caulk them and then they will match the doors. Tip for when you're filling in holes, if you just feel, like if you look away and feel because like that right there does not look filled, but it is but it just doesn't look like it. So if you look away and then rub your hand over it and don't feel any difference, then it'll like, you won't over sand it and have to keep filling, sanding, filling, sanding.
drawers are done. I was just testing them out right here to see what they look like with the cabinets. Let's play our favorite game. Watch Kelsey go crazy as she tries to pick a paint color. All right, here's what I'm thinking. So these are the colors that I'm looking at. I'm leaning toward like a grayish palette. I throw some greens in there just to look at it because I'm gonna have this color throughout the rest of the, of the house in different places. So like when you're looking for a paint color and you don't know the undertones like pink or green or whatever, if you put it next to a white piece of paper, you'll be able to see the undertones in it. Hope of the morning is a little bit lighter and this is modern gray which is a little bit darker and also I'm kind of thinking like with the metals that I'm gonna have in the house because this is the faucet in the kitchen and I may or may not go gold for the handles and then this is the color of the back door in the um, dining room. So I um, was thinking about possibly painting the hutch this color. So I'm kind of like trying to play around with all of these things together to see if it's all going to work together and if I like it. So I'm leaning toward modern gray. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm going to end up going with. I also want to check it up against the vent hood. I want a little bit of a contrast and I think that's pretty. Just like really earthy tones. In case you were thinking, oh, that was easy. She picked that out really fast. Just know I've watched every YouTube video ever made on warm gray paint colors. And I've also sat, just sat there for hours looking at paint swatches. So yeah, still crazy. I filled in the holes right here on the cabinets because this is now gonna be the outside of the cabinets. So we have to drill circle holes like this on this side so this is my new tool it's a like a craig jig that you can just get it at lowe's or home depot that allows you to like line it up exactly where you need it and get the exact depth that you need for your hinges and this like same width from the ends of the cabinets After 87 years of prep, it's finally time to paint.
everything is primed. It's looking super white in here. I'm gonna quickly sand, um, just light sanding, just to smooth it out just a tiny bit, and then we'll be ready for our actual paint color. looking. I don't know if it's going to pull up on camera, but I swear it looks like purple almost. It's got such a like pinky undertone. It's awful. So I painted agreeable gray, which I didn't like right here. And you can tell it's like much cooler, but it's still not a cool gray, but it looks actually gray and not purple. So I think I have a new plan. Here's what I'm thinking white for the uppers, the gray for the lowers. I know I want this black and then the island doing in a gray. That's a good thing about paint. You don't like it, you just paint over it. No big deal.
just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. Where you're going, I'm going. 